Over the last 13 years, I bought 76 from the units. And yes, the day I decided to change my life forever, I only had $3,000 in my bank account. I want to guide you through the five steps of how I went from one rental unit to 76 rentals without ever having to worry about running out of money. In 2010, I was working a nine to five job just like you. I had a good paying job at the United States Census Bureau. I thought I made it, you know, as a 26 year old. Well, not quite. After two years, I felt burnt out. I lost the motivation to make the best of my job and I was only looking forward to the weekends. I wanted to make more of my life. But on the other hand, I didn't want to leave behind my secure job or sacrifice my certainty. I was trapped, you know, I, maybe just like you, until I discovered a loophole in the system, real estate investment. And I know what you're thinking, right? You're thinking, hey Juan, hey Juan Pablo, um, everybody knows about real estate investments. You do. But uh, you know real estate as one, a long-term investment that pays off in 20 years. You also know real estate investing as being a capital intensive investment, maybe a steady but slow growth curve where cash flow is concerned. And I don't blame you. I used to know real estate investment in the same way, but now real estate investing means an investment that pays itself. Little to no investment capital required. Also doubling your rental properties every year. This is the new definition of real estate investing I discovered thanks to this five step system. This system took me from a 26 year old nine to five employee to a 31 unit investment portfolio, about 30 years old by the way, in just less than five years of investing. And this system can produce the exact same results for you. So let's get into the first step. The first step is this, your investment capital. I had $3,000 to start with, so I had to be creative on how to get the minimal required capital together. And I received a loan from my aunt, got credits from the government. This is when Obama was in office, President Obama, and he had a, a tax credit thing for first time home buyers. And I poured everything that I had into a duplex in which I can live in one unit and rent out the other. And by doing that, it's just limited capital. I bought a $355,000, but in all, I might have put in roughly $13,000, $13,500 to the property. But the key thing is this, I made sure I had the right attitude and I was willing to take the quote unquote risk to buy my first hyper property where I lived in one unit and right out the other. Now let's get into the second step. Find the best mortgage. So starting out, I couldn't afford a 20% down payment on investment property, especially in the Northeast living in the New York, New Jersey area. So I used an FHA mortgage to acquire it in which it only required a three and a half percent down payment. And uh, now you have to, you know, basically play the cards that were dealt. You just have to do the math yourself. If you only have investment capital, let's say of only 5,000 bucks, you were able to acquire property up to if I math serves me correctly, 142,000. Do know that using an FHA mortgage is only possible when you're going to live in the property yourself because you have to make sure that this is part of FHA rules, you live in one unit. So that's why I bought a property that had multiple properties, okay? But you can still profit if you can live in one unit and rent out the other. And you can potentially put down three and a half percent to acquire the property. And some FHA mortgages, they also allow for re renovation costs. So it's a really good thing. You might wanna check it out. Step three, find the perfect property. As a 26 year old newbie in the housing market, I had no idea where to start looking. So I just did what everyone else did. I went to an open house, <laughs> pretty much, and met a real estate agent. But instead of being interested in the property itself where the open house was conducted, I was interested in, in, in knowing the real estate agent. And in the end, he was the perfect person to keep me updated on the latest deals in the housing market. And I recommend having a team, not just one, but a team of agents who help you find deals and find a property in which you can live in one unit and rent out the other and go on the FHA route. Now, by doing this, by having this agent on my team, 
he was able to do all the legwork for me. So he understood the market, he understood the deals, the sellers, and he was able to find a property that fit my purchasing power, meaning how much per property I could afford to purchase, as well as my license and, um, and stay away from my dislikes. So it's extremely key to make sure that you find the right agent, not just one, but a team of agents that can find you deals that fit your purchasing power and the uh, part of the neighborhood or market that you wanna live in. So let's get into the fourth step, step four, refinance plus funding. So I acquired my first property. I lived in one unit, as I discussed, and ran out the other. And I really liked the taste of property investment. I knew it shouldn't stop with only, uh, let's say, one duplex. So instead of using this as a bit of an extra income and, you know, and also continue to work my nine to five job, I decided to go all in and struggle my way to living off of real estate income. Now that I've made this life changing decision, I had to find the fastest way to acquire a second rental property. So I started stacking capital through the rents that I was receiving. Plus I moved into the attic apartment and I rented out the other two units. I was maxing out my cash flow. Yet this wouldn't be, let's say enough to be able to get a second one fast. So next I just started to explore the uses of, of debt pretty much to fund my out of pocket costs. That's the down payment, closing costs and soft costs. And soft costs are costs that you incur before you close. And another option is financing. So at the time, I didn't have the possibility, but I was able to get my hands on creative forms of financing so that way I can continue to acquire properties on repeat. And I also decided to invest in other markets because living in New York, New Jersey area, putting a 20% down payment on every investment property can require a lot of uh, cost of all. Let's get into step five, press repeat. So the moment has finally arrived. I collected the necessary funding through credit cards and I bought my second rental property. And not much later, I was able to acquire my third one, thanks to my savings. So in three years of investing, I bought seven rental units from these three properties, a duplex, a single family, and a quadplex. Yet it wasn't enough cash flow to, to get me out of my nine to five job. So at the age of 29, that's when things really started to click for me and unfortunately I ruptured my left Achilles tendon, completely detached. And I had two months to stay at home to heal, rest up, and wasn't able to work at the United States Census Bureau. But it provided me with the time to think long and hard on how to accelerate my real estate investing acquisition process, my system. Then that's when I discovered creative financing and multi-unit investing in a profitable market. And I got myself to 30 rental units and quit my day job. I bought 23 units in a single year without using my savings as a result of using seller financing, business funding, and private money. Multifamily investing provided, uh, let's say, much more opportunity for creative financing. So this financing method gave me the opportunity to start growing my investment portfolio exponentially instead of linearly. So right now, I'm able to double my real estate portfolio every year, year after year. And just do the math. Then it can go really quickly. So from my, uh, let's say first property in year one, then two units in year two, uh, four units in year three. By year four, you know, let's say for you, you could possibly get eight and then 16 in year five and so on. So what do you think? Do you feel ready to start creating your own investment portfolio? Well, just wait a second. I have more for you. So you, you have the framework now out there and there's still a lot of bumps on the road. And I speak from experience. So I would like to, let's say, dive deeper into the details with you to avoid the mistakes and guide you around the potholes I tumbled into when I was 26 years old. So are you ready to change your life for the better forever? Then just click the link in the description of this video underneath to receive your first step of your new future. And before I forget, it's totally free.